morning, good morning, everyone. Welcome to Melanie on the Move. My name is Melanie, and I am the Early Childhood Specialist for the Farmington Community Library, and I would like to get started with our welcome song. I'm glad that you are here, my friends, here, my friends, here, my friends. I'm glad that you are here, my friends. How are you today? I am great and wonderful, and I am so glad that you have joined me. I am here today at beautiful Heritage Park in Farmington Hills, and we have so many neat things to see here today on this beautiful day. So, let's get going. Come on. Hi. I have moved onto the Nature Discovery Trail here in Heritage Park. Can you see the beautiful trees behind me? Do you see all the colors? The trees are changing colors because the temperatures have dropped and it's affected the trees. We have a new season going on. Do you know what it is? Well, I have a song to sing with you and it is called, What Season Is This? It is fall and I'm gonna sing what season is this, do you know? And you're going to shout, it is fall! Ready? Here we go. Ready? What season is this, do you know? It is fall! What season is this, do you know? It is fall! Trees drop their leaves and wave in the breeze. What season is this, do you know? It is fall! <laughs> and yes, it is fall. The leaves are changing, they're falling down, and I have another fall song to sing with you. And it is called, The Leaves Are Falling Down. I want you to take your hands, hold them up high, like they're in a tree, and it's going to be sung to London Bridge. Here we go. All the leaves are falling down, falling down, falling down. All the leaves are falling down. It is autumn. That's right, it is autumn, and that's a fancy word for fall. So you can call the season fall or autumn. If you use that fancy term autumn, it can impress all of your friends. Try it and see how that goes for you. Up near the front of the park, I found this cute little scarecrow, and so I decided I wanna do a fun movement activity with you. I bet you've heard of Teddy Bear, Teddy Bear, Turn Around. Well, we're going to do that, but we're going to do Scarecrow, Scarecrow, Turn Around. So, I need you to stand up, pretend you're a Scarecrow, and here we go. Ready? Scarecrow, Scarecrow, Turn Around. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, Touch the Ground. Scarecrow, Scarecrow, Reach Up High. Scarecrow, scarecrow, touch the sky. T scarecrow, scarecrow, bend your knees. Scarecrow, scarecrow, flap in the breeze. And there you have scarecrow, scarecrow. Have fun doing that at your house. All right, I have moved from the nature discovery trail over to the top of the sled hill. I am actually right at the top of the toboggan run. I really can't wait for it to be winter, but it's fall, and so here we are to do a fun finger play together. I am holding two little robins. When I think of robins, I typically think of springtime when they come back, but think about that. They come back in the spring they actually leave in the fall and they fly south to where it's warmer. So I am going to have my little robins fly about today. So I would like you sit on the floor and bend your knees to make a hill. And I'm gonna have my little robin puppets that are on my thumbs to do the finger play. So do them with your thumbs like this. Two little robins sitting on a hill, one named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. 
Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. Trip, 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 trip. I want to do it again, but I want to do it just like you would do it with your thumbs. So, here are my thumbs on my little knee hills. Do you have your knee hills set and your birds? Let's go. Two little robins sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. I want to do it again and really, really, really fast. Are you up to that? Let's do it. Ready? Two little robins sitting on a hill. One named Jack and the other named Jill. Fly away, Jack. Fly away, Jill. Come back, Jack. Come back, Jill. <sighs> Are you out of breath? I am a little. We have been moving a lot. And I want to get our wiggles out because the next thing I want to do is read you a story. But before then, let's get our wiggles out. Get your little wiggly fingers. I wiggle my fingers. I wiggle my toes. I wiggle my shoulders. I wiggle my nose. Now all of the wiggles are out of me and I will be as still as can be. And here I have the book that I'm going to read to you today. It's so cute. It is called Hedgehugs. Did you hear that? Hedgehugs. Autumn, hide, and squeak. So get comfy at home, settle in, and hear the story. And now I'm going to read Hedgehugs. Autumn, hide, and squeak. It's a fun picture book by Steve Wilson and Lucy Tapper. I am reading this book with permission from Macmillan Publishers. Hedgehugs, Autumn, Hide, and Squeak. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to make funny shadows as the sun comes up. Look at the sun and look at their fun shadows. Can you see the shadows of the other things in the picture too? They like to follow shiny snail trails. and catch dewdrops from leaves. Drip, drip, drip. After a rain, they like to spot sparkling spider webs. Look at how pretty that spider web is. When Horace is busy, Hattie likes to decorate her nest. When Hattie is busy, Horace likes to practice his music. Blink, 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 blink. <laughs> Look at his audience. One windy autumn day, the sky was filled with leaves falling from the trees. It was pretty, but Hattie felt sad that the branches would soon be empty. Horace didn't want Hattie to be sad. He gathered up as many leaves as he could and was trying to put them back on the tree when suddenly something squeaked. Do you see what squeaked? Look. Look carefully at the picture. There are some other squeaky things hiding. Do you see them? Horace and Hattie leaped with surprise. They landed in a pile of leaves. Look at their feet. The squeaky thing thought it was a game. He loved to play hide and seek. 
Horace and Hattie loved to play games too. They were experts at hiding and seeking. First, Horace and Hattie searched for their new friend in the blackberry bushes. When they found him hidden in a tangle of brambles, he squeaked with joy. Can you find the squeaky thing? Look carefully. Look, there he is. It took the squeaky thing a long time to spot his friends among the seed pods. Can you find Horace and Hattie? Look carefully. I'll give you a hint. Look at the bottom. Okay, here's one. Do you see the other? There, there they are. Horace and Hattie knew the squeaky thing was hidden somewhere beneath the toadstools and mushrooms. Do you see him? Look. Squeak! At last, they found him. There he is, over here. The three friends giggled. It was so much fun to play hide and squeak. Horace had one last hiding place. He spied a secret spot. Do you see they have their eyes closed? I wonder if they're counting while Horace is hiding. Can you figure out where he's hiding? Well, Hattie hunted. The squeaky thing searched. They looked and looked. Horace waited and waited until... Surprise! Horace popped out of a pumpkin. The other two squealed in fright and delight. When the last leaf fell from the tree, it was time for the squeaky thing to return to his family. Hattie felt sad again. Horace had an idea. He whispered to their new little friend. And the tree came alive with colorful leaves, laughter, and lots of new squeaky friends. Can you tell what they did? Look, the squeaky things lifted up the leaves, gathered them up, and held on to them to create that beautiful tree again. And that is the end of Hedgehugs, Autumn, Hide and Squeak. And I would like to thank again Macmillan Publishers for allowing me to read this book to you today. Thanks for listening. Hi, I have found myself at another part of Heritage Park. I have hiked along this trail and have found a beautiful red tree. I encourage you to come to the park and hike along the many beautiful trails and see what you can find. In the meantime, I'd like to sing a leaf song, another leaf song for you to the tune of The Wheels on the Bus and it's called The Leaves on the Trees. And along the way, I grabbed two. One is orange and one is red. So let's get singing. Here we go. The leaves on the trees turn orange and red, orange and red, orange and red. The leaves on the trees turn orange and red all around the town. Now they're gonna come tumbling down. Are you ready? At home,
home, you can either grab leaves to sing the song or just use your hands. I'm going to keep using my leaves. Ready? Let's have them tumble down. The leaves on the trees come tumbling down, tumbling down, tumbling down. The leaves on the trees come tumbling down all around the town. And with this wind, they're going to go swish, swish, swish. Get your arms swishing. Ready? The leaves from the trees go swish, 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 swish. The leaves from the trees go swish, swish, swish all around the town. So speaking of leaves and around the town, I have an at-home activity for you to do. I want you to get outside and go for a walk. I want you to collect a bunch of leaves. See what leaves you can find. Big ones, little ones, brown ones, green ones, orange ones, red ones. Collect as many leaves as you can find and I want you to compare them. What do they look like? Talk about the colors. Talk about the shapes. Maybe sort them out. Put a pile of brown and green and red and yellow and orange, whatever colors you've got, sort them out. Feel them. How do they feel? Are they smooth? Are they crunchy? Are they falling all apart? Talk about the leaves. Getting out in nature is just a wonderful thing to do and I encourage you to do that. So have fun getting outside, collecting leaves, and investigating them. And we're going to say goodbye now. Thank you so much for joining me. Let's say our goodbye song together. I'm glad that you were here, my friends. Here, my friends. Here, my friends. I'm glad that you were here, my friends. I thank you. And I want to thank Heritage Park for granting me permission to come and tape our story time today. I wish you a very happy autumn, enjoy getting outside, and discovering beautiful leaves. Happy fall! Take care everybody! Bye!